If you need to replace your Gear One band, don't worry. It's really not that hard, so don't freak out. I'm right here with you, and if I can do it, you totally can. For this repair, you'll need a new resistance band, this tool, which has a 25 millimeter Allen key at one end and a 25 millimeter screwdriver at the other end, and your extra pieces, just in case any of the original pieces got lost. Your kit comes with an extra button, a few screws, and a spring. Start by removing the old resistance band. Take your fitness sensor unit and using your screwdriver, remove the two upper screws. Remove the rest of the screws with your Allen key. Open the sensor unit and carefully remove the resistance band. Be careful not to lose the sensor's button. It's pretty small and once the sensor's open, it's loose. Now, open the adjuster. Start by removing the two middle screws on the left-hand side with the screwdriver. Then, remove the rest of the screws with the Allen key. Remove the inner red plastic piece and the silicone cover. Remove all screws from both sides of the red plastic piece. Insert the screwdriver inside the red plastic piece to push the upper part out. Now, we're gonna open the wheel tip cover. So first we're gonna open the Allen head screw with the Allen key. Then push the hollow screw out the other side with the Allen key. Remove the wheel and then release the resistance band. Next, we're gonna remove the band holder. Okay, so now that we've taken the band apart, make sure that everything is organized here so you know where all your screws are. And uh, now it's time to insert the new band. Insert the new resistance band through the wheel tip cover then put the wheel back in. Place the hollow screw through the wheel tip cover, then insert the Allen head screw from the other side and close it with the Allen key. Now insert the band holder. Place the red plastic piece on the resistance band. Make sure that you connect the second red plastic part in the right direction. The correct direction is having this square face this top. You'll need to push one of the sides of part one to be able to insert part two. So now that you've attached the two parts, we have to replace all of the screws. Now you're gonna replace the silicone cover and in the direction where you have the indentation on the inside over the square. Now we're gonna place both springs back on the adjuster. Pull down on both sides of the resistance band while firmly pressing the red plastic piece. Now the springs should contract. Place the resistance band in the right position as shown. Be sure to also place the end of the resistance band inside the adjuster. Now, we replace the top of the adjuster and tighten all of the screws and the Allen heads. Now, make sure that your sensor button is still in place and we're going to insert the end of the resistance band back into the sensor unit. We're going to close the top of the sensor unit and replace the two upper screws using the screwdriver and the Allen key screws with the Allen key. So I know that we don't all love manual labor, but with this, it's really simple. All the pieces are included, the tools are included. You don't need anything else. You don't have to bring anything from home. And uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward and that's it. You've replaced your old resistance band with a new one. And uh, it's as good as new. So let's get working.